Hello everyone, Chris Reynolds with GOSPA Missions again, and I wanted to just remind you, GOSPA is Croatian for Our Lady's Mission, and her, her mission is to lead souls to Jesus Christ. I had the pleasure of having some friends from Colorado visit this past week, and they told me about a movie. I had never heard of it. Um, it was called Pray, um, the, the story of Father Peyton, and what an amazing um movie what an amazing priest and he's the one that, that kind of promoted the whole uh, a family that prays together stays together and this is so true and it is so needed today you know men are you getting your families together praying are you praying on a daily basis are we all praying on a daily basis if not you need to I would suggest Go to our website, gospa.org, click on Pray, and get this movie. It's on DVD, it's on our website, and I tell you, it is amazing what this one priest did. Millions of people came out to hear his message of praying as a family. You know, one of the things we're missing um, out of our families and out of society is prayer. Now, God put it on my heart, I don't know, six months or so ago, to start Our Lady's Power Hour. And I did. Um, we did. And we started on Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, getting together across the country. I'm amazed. We have people from California. We have people from Texas, Colorado, Maryland, Virginia, all over the country. Pittsburgh area, of course. And... They come together and pray together. We have upwards of 300 people that have signed up for Our Lady's Power Hour. That is powerful. And the blessing that we get is we get a great reflection from Bishop Strickland from the Diocese of Tyler, Texas. And what a solid apostle of Jesus Christ he is. He's standing up for the church's teachings on everything. So mark your calendars. Try to come out for it. Go on to gospa.org and sign up for it. While you're there, you can go ahead and uh, get a copy of Pray, um, the Father Peyton story, or I can't remember the exact title. But we need to be praying together. And guys, we're the head of the family. If you're not leading your family to Jesus Christ, you're failing in your duty. I am trying my best with mine. I know that much. And to have teenagers is not easy. It is not easy, but you know what? I keep pushing forward, trying to do the best that I can. The falling person, the weak person that I am, I try to do the best I can. And I was at Daily Mass today, and, you know, it's amazing. I hear people say, I don't have time to pray the rosary. Really? You're choosing not to pray the rosary. Everybody has time. It's just choosing what time you're going to use for what. We all have time. Make time for God. Turn back to Him. Turn your families back to Him. And maybe we can heal our country and our world from all the ills that are out there. It can be despairing. But with God on our side, there's nothing to despair. Let's go out and pray. Tom was big on praying 15 decades of the rosary every day and then 20 when they came out with the Luminous Mysteries. I've been doing that. And I'm telling you, the difference it makes is phenomenal. Take time to pray. And pray always, unceasingly. Good times and the bad. Give thanks for what you, you have and ask God for what you need. And he will provide. God bless you. Have a great day and a great weekend. And don't forget, lead your family to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.